you know what's on the way here. Say so the key, the trickiest parts about tropical systems are their track, mm -hmm. right? Of course, where they're going to land and their speed. Right. Quick moving storms tend to bring a greater wind threat because you get the motion of the storm. Slow moving storms, more prolonged threat. You get to more of a kind of a marathon mindset of it's still raining because of Francine. And that's what we're headed towards. And I think it feels kind of like a mind meld in part because it's been so dry. 88, we actually hit 91 today. Very warm conditions across the area. That will change as well. So it's dry today, tomorrow bone dry. Rain does not arrive until closer to lunchtime on Thursday. So now's the time to prep. Think about what you can successfully accomplish in the next 24 hours that's just gonna make you feel more confident. Your jobs remain unchanged during active weather. Have a way to get information and know where you'll go. Weather Radio, our Storm Shield app, and it's not just know where you'll go at home, but all the places you do life. Do you have a doctor's appointment, the pickup line for the kiddos, some other uh, plan, the grocery store, your job, your commute. You gotta think about all the places that you're gonna be doing live Thursday, Friday, the ball field. I've had a lot of coaches reach out to me worried about that Friday night football. How are you going to take care of what's important to you? Francine is coming. Francine has not moved much since yesterday, but it will pick up some forward momentum. Actually just did, it's up to about 10 miles an hour and is starting to make that northeastern shift. Still expected to intensify to a category one on approach to Louisiana. The track continues to trend a little further east with landfall. So potentially even downtown New Orleans in that landfall. Reminder of what this cone represents. This cone represents the center. The impacts reach hundreds of miles out from the center. So the center of the storm may be anywhere within this cone during the afternoon hours tomorrow. And that cone gets bigger as we head towards the weekend. The center of what's left of Francine could be close to downtown. It could also be in north central Arkansas. Big spread here. The closer we are to the center of the system, the more impactful it gets to us. Regardless, Francine is expected to pump the brakes and create a very prolonged, unsettled pattern for us. Here's a look at your rain chances Thursday. Not impossible, a raindrop is here at 8 a.m., but you see how it ramps up by noon. Plan on rain by lunchtime Thursday, and then it's just gonna come through on again, off again. Tropical systems have bands, think like spokes on a bicycle, and each one of those spokes is just gonna roll through. So there'll be some pockets where it's not as heavy, and then another band will come through and it'll get heavier. As far as our severe threat with this, unfortunately some flash flooding and potentially even a quick spin up tornado is possible with tropical systems that are taking this track. So just another reason for you to be thinking, how am I preparing me, the people that I love most, just in case a warning is issued for us, especially overnight Thursday into Friday. Cools us down, it's gonna do a whole lot of good for the drought, but it is likely going to snarl plans at a minimum and potentially create some brief severe weather concerns at a maximum. We'll talk more about it.